rather Muhammad Poor with the shot a while ago. But it's not a ball, eh? possession is very much being controlled by Kaya Signal. Poor defensive clearance by Diliman. Tama kasi yung ginagawa ng Kaya, pinepressure nila yung ball carriers. No? Here comes some defense from Diliman. At kaya si Jinkoy Valmayor, medyo malayo na siya. Hindi na siya nakaka-overhead uh, through balls. Iniiwasan na niya si Ali Borromeo dun sa, uh, sa final line ng Kaya. Isa dun sa mga tinuturo ni Coach Juan Cotillas dito sa Kaya Signal is uh, remember he's a Spaniard no? and uh, he played for the youth team of Atletico Madrid and in Spanish football we all know how particular they are about ball possession once they lose that hinahabo nila by going with tackling yes. and there we saw it with Lexton Moy no? although uh, napabagsak si uh, sino to? si Anto Gonzalez yellow. You know another yellow card Lexton Moy called for the foul. I think it's going to be. Uh, it was a late challenge. Diliman need to get some offense going. Kanina ang ganda ng offense nila sa opisan ng laro pero no medyo na wala. At napunta lahat sa Kaya. And that's because of all the possession that uh, Kaya has. Gaya nga ng sinabi ni Rick, no? ang, ang haba ng oras na hawak ang uh, bola ng uh, Kaya. And they're just trying to find creeks doon sa depensa nitong UP Diliman. Nakikita natin yung skill and technique ng Kaya dito. Excellent in, uh, in those turns, quick on those one-two passing. Berkey. Finding Bole in, uh, in the box. Great block there. That's a cross. But it's not a yung bola. Mapupunta sa labas. Bola pa rin ng Kaya. So possession still very much in favor of Kaya. Long throw in. Here's Berkey. Excellent position. Berkey. Goal! Kung mapapansin nyo, the one thing that Kaya Signal has an advantage of, it's size. Yes. Mas malalaki yung mga player nila kumpira dito sa UP Diliman. And Nate Berkey was able to camp himself right in that box and really use his strength Jason, in that position. Jason, siguro we should also give credit to sa taong nag throw in. Oh, ang ganda ng pwesto. Ang ganda ng pwesto ng pasa. Nate Berkey sticking with it. Kahit lumabas si Leong. And, and the patience of Berkey uh, to be able to not panic, knowing that the defense is coming, uh, making two moves to be able to score this goal. The deflect by yung bola, kaya yung may pwede natin tawagin na nakaw. Na throw it. One apiece now. Nate Berkey, 20 minute goal. Kaya really has to feel good about that goal. Here's Valmayor. Matagal na siyang hindi nakakahawak ng bola dito kasi every time na pinapasa sa kanya, nahuhuli siyang offsides eh. Bola eh. Dagger rather. And Santiago, ah, uh, Octavio rather. Passing the ball outside. Lexton Moy. Has his ball stolen. Here comes Cerudo. Valmayor rather. Turning, kicking. Great defense by Ali Borromeo. That is why Ali Borromeo is one of the best in the business. Not just here in the Philippines, but also in Asia. Here comes Kaya again. Look at the pace by Yannick Tuason. Here comes Kaya in the box. And he will be awarded with a corner kick. Cause for concern, really, for, for Diliman time. Last 12 minutes or so, thoroughly dominated by Kaya Signal. They've got a goal to show for it, and also just the possession and, and the chances that they've had, quite evident. Free kick, a uh, corner kick rather, into the box. Leung punching Leung, it out. Here's Ali Borromeo with a kick. Goes out of bounds. Corner kick ulit, para sa Kaya. 
Borromeo breathing heavily. Pule will take the corner. This is where Kaya will miss Anton Del Rosario because he is so deadly inside with those headers. Uh, wala si Anton Del Rosario for this game due to an injury. Of course, for Anton, really can use his height for that those headers. Oh, goal, but no offside. Goal is disallowed. So it will be a, a free kick para sa para sa Dileman. Kung titignan natin yung mga Ascals players dito para sa Kaya Signal, ito actually yung mga magbabarkada. Sila Anton Del Rosario, Jason Sabio. Yes. Ganun din. Kung kanina sa Meralco, yun rin yung mga magkakabarkada. So, oh. makikita mo, you know, they really make use of that opportunity uh, uh, to be together. And uh, it's always nice to play alongside friends. Eh. That's, that's right, Jason. In fact, sabi nga ni Phil Young Aspen sa interview, it was easy. It's easy to play with people you know and like. Pati na rin siguro yung Air Force, medyo magkakakilala din naman sila. Sina Chiefy Kaligdong and the rest of the, the Ascals over there. Here's another chance for Kaya. Deadly cross right there. The offensive set is still alive. Leong trying to punch it out. Here's Nate Berkey. He oh! Should've... Pule that's tackled be, that's and that's a penalty. a penalty. No! No! No, he says play on. Says that uh, Kaya player took a dive. Wow! What? possession right there well right well what Prince should have done was volleyed right there there was the opportunity he still dribbled inside the keeper comes out a bit too early and this is just an opportunity for Phil one on one and then Prince goes down Lexton Moy cross got then a clearance header and UP done Tilliman Ball will go back to Kam Kam. Right now, Diliman FC with no answer to the right wing woes. Where all those crosses are coming from, Lexton Moy. And that's the territory of Octavio. And even Andoni Santos. And uh, you would expect that a team that got on board first, 1-0, uh, must be aggressive aggressive sila ngayon. Pero hindi. You see Kaya Signal controlling possession. Mga pasa nila, everything going Kaya's way so far. Bad pass there. And uh, one of the things that really happened is because of all that offense of Kaya Signal, all the midfielders of uh, Tong uh, Diliman has really been forced to, pu to pull back into their, uh, to, to their defense. And they've been clogging the middle, no? but that's leaving the right wing open for yeah, more. wings, yes. Here's Valmayor trying to receive the long pass, pero si Kam Kam nandun. Para collect the ball. Come, come, throw it. Gets to Jason Sabio. Prince Bole has his has the ball tapped out of bounds. Here's Eric Dagro. What another superb throw win. Dagro trying, but saved by Leo. Leon with a high kick. And Lexton Moy, go collect him bola. And make clearance to Eric Dagros. And Dilliman will throw in. Quick throw in, pero nawala yung bola. Ito na yung Kaya. Opportunity for a 1v1 right there. Looking for Berkey. Nagawan. Up ahead, Valmayor. Offside. And again, the defense of Signal. They got beaten once. Ito kaya Signal. Uh, but lately, nakita mo na yung uh, disciplina nila. Lumalabas na. Ilang beses na natawagan ng offside si Valmayor. Throw in for Diliman. Slow pace game that we have so far. 27 minutes na po lumilipas. Palapit na tayo ng uh, halftime. Valmayor. 
Great pass, but a great stop by Lexton Moy. Berkey passing, no foul called on Satakel. Valmayor up ahead. Has come, come to beat. Sidestep kicking. Oh, and he goes out of bounds. Valmayor falling to the ground. He had an open net and then just, he just kicked it to the side of the goal. Siguro nakita din niya si Ali Borromeo na kinocover din yung, uh, yung net galing doon. Tignan natin ulit. Great footwork, the jump, kicking, and a little too strong to the right. Kulang sa puwersa yung sipa. But uh, we cannot fault Chris Kamkam -Kam for coming out like that, no? Had no uh, choice. The gamble paid off. Ito na ulit yung uh, Dileman, pero naagaw ni Eric Dogra. Dogra into Berkey, flag up. Fast play in the offing for uh, Diliman FC. Anto Gonzalez looking ahead. Inahanap Sabio. Si Cerudo, inahanap si Cerudo. Sabio with a great clearance. Ali Borromeo. That's oh, going to be a foul. Wow. Ball is live. Lexton wow. Moy looking for Eric Dagro. It's a fast play. No offside on this one. Dagro. Dagro. Bole. Prince Bole swings it over to Semblat. Too far ahead for Tuason to get that. The crowd enjoying the game today. And they're enjoying, this is the type of football that you can really enjoy. It's really gone both ways, no? Mataki and Diliman on the counter, and uh, Kaya Signal on the other hand have had really good build ups and uh, possession, uh, most of possession actually going their way as well. Great header. Ball is still alive. Apia. And there's another man down on the field. I believe right. that's Ali Borromeo. Right now what uh, Diliman FC is trying to do is just play that long ball because right now that uh, nothing is happening between the in the middle third going to the attacking third. Wala nang nangyayari. Na cut off ng kaya yung game ng, uh, ng midfield game ng, uh, Diliman FC, so wala silang choice kung hindi mag-long ball dito. At yung mga may hawak ng stretcher natin, mapapa-half-lap sila dito kasi hindi sila mga cross the field. <laughs> Ali Borromeo is still down. Being consulted and the teams have an opportunity para mga inum lang ng konti. We'll talk how uh, the game plan is going for them. Rick, uh, I mean, ano kailangan gawin ng, ng UP? They started out strong, they started out strong. It was just after noon, parang nagising lang talaga yung kaya signal eh. Well, right now kasi, Aaron, si Stephen Permanes has not taken control, no? Sila, sila ni Anto Gonzalez, ang backbone ng midfield dyan. They're the ones who will drive that attack. So far, they've not, they've not, had any uh, impact on this game, no? And nangyayari, they're trying to go, go forward with those long balls and those wing attacks from Octavio. Pag hindi nila na-connect yung gitna, walang mangyayari sa attack. Yeah, they, they say really the engine of, of your offense is your mid or your midfielders. If your midfielders are not dominating and the opposite side's midfield is dominating, you know who's winning time of possession. In fact, Jason, nakita natin yun yung first game with uh, James Young husband and the Hartmans feeding that ball to the front. Dito, it's just not happening right now for Diliman FC. And Jason, uh, Kaya has been getting closer and closer and closer to taking that lead goal. How much longer do you think it will be before we see another goal coming from either side here? Very difficult to say, but the one thing that uh, really is a uh, precursor of things that's happening, if you have a time of possession, 